Hey YouTube, Beauty and the Geek here with a combination tutorial and rave about uh, m one of my most crucial beauty products. And that is, drumroll please, Milk of Magnesia. Yes, Milk of Magnesia, the stomach stuff, or saline laxative, that's what it is. The digestive tract stuff, Milk of Magnesia. I've seen this a little bit here on YouTube, and I myself actually discovered it through a video by Erica Lay 777 links down below if you want to check out what she has to say about it, as a remedy for oily skin. Yes, oily skin. So this stuff is, as I said, it's a black because it's for your digestive tract, but turns out if you apply the stuff topically to your skin on the surface like you would a uh, concealer, primer, foundation, etc., it is going to absorb whatever oil your skin produces throughout the day. Who would have sunk it? Milk of Magnesia. Um, well, let me talk about, my, talk about my skin for a second. Uh, I do have oily skin. Not severely, severely oily. I can go to maybe, maybe mid-morning before my skin will start getting shiny, but by midday or afternoon, if I don't use this, I will shiny, 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 and you will usually all over, too, um, and I've used a variety of different moisturizers, um, one I'm currently using is by Neutrogena, it's oil-free, I think, one of their oil-free moisturizers, moisturizers, um, SPF 15, I think is what it is, I need to start using more sun protection, I've used, uh, the Clean and Clear one with, um, the acne fighting one. It doesn't have salicylic acid. It's the, the, the other one. Um, forget what it, what it actually has in it, but it's, the, it's supposed to be a, a pimple control one. I've used that. And well, I've used two others that um, my skin actually gets along pretty well with. One is the, the green tea moisturizer from Proactive. I was on that for a while and I just got some of that left. And the other was by Neutrogena. It was another uh, oil free one. Um, oil free fresh moisture, I think is what they call it. Well, that one appears to no longer be, be made. And well, I've looked for it and I can't find it. And the proactive one is expensive. It's fairly expensive. You have to send for it and you have to pay all your shipping and handling and whatnot. So that's not worth it. So I just kind of use whatever moisturizer I've got. And as long as I have this stuff, I do not have to worry at all. Um, this is Rite Aid's brand. Um, I think it's a little cheaper than Philips, which is the traditional brand. Um, the only thing is I think Philips come, can come in a little smaller bottle. When I went to pick up another bottle of this uh, at Rite Aid, this was the smallest available. There's an even bigger bottle, which you do not need believe me. If you can get, get the smallest bottle you can, you're not going to be using a lot of it at one time. It will last you a long time and you may even need to moisten the inside to help soften it as it's going to want to dry out on you. Um, and either brand will do. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting the flavored version. Just get the plain stuff if you're not tasting it. And the reason why I want to do a little tutorial on it, I haven't seen any actual tutorials on the stuff I've seen reviews, but no tutorials. And I think we need a, we need a tutorial because there are a couple ins and outs of the way you have to apply this stuff. And I'm going to go over those. So let me push my sleeves up. Uh, my skin is actually not this oily. Uh, that's my my lamp. Uh, our our overhead light is burned out at the moment. So I'm using our desk lamp. Makes my skin look really really oily. I did put this stuff on this morning, so my skin is under control. Um, so you just want to unscrew it. Uh, it's a little dried out because I, I dropped the cap there. I dropped, dropped the bottle in the bathroom and the cap cracked. White chunks flying out. Um, so it's white, fairly liquidy. Um, and I like to use my fingers with this stuff to apply it. Um, you can use brushes or sponges, although with sponges they will dry out, the stuff will dry them out. Um, I use my fingers for sake of blending because you do have to blend this stuff like mad. That's the one thing. 
and I get oily pretty much all around my face. It's primarily in my T-zone, but I'll get a little on my forehead and my cheeks too. So I'm just going to start on my cheeks, and some on my nose, and then just blend like mad. You really, really have to blend this stuff. Even when you think you're done blending, keep blending it. If your if your skin feels still feels damp or moist at all with this stuff, keep blending. Blend this stuff to kingdom come because if you don't, it's going to dry and leave a little these little white streaks, which are no big deal. You can just lick your finger and. Uh, they'll come off, but if you do that, you're kind of taking some of the product with you, and that's not the point of applying it, is it? And I think I'm, I think I've blended it well enough. You just just keep blending, blend it, blend it, blend it. If in doubt, keep blending, <laughs> or you'll get white streakies on your face. And I'll we'll put some up here too on my forehead. I can usually get away with blending stuff. All over the between the Keep, keep blending, blend it, 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 blend and here, and here, I tend to get really, really in there, don't we, girl? Just keep blending. Okay, that should probably be good. Note, it does take a moment to put this stuff on. So that's um, idiosyncrasy number one with applying this stuff. Idiosyncrasy number two, you do not want to use a lot of this stuff. I was using. I think I maybe used that much for my whole face. Uh, to hope this lighting is awful, I'm sorry. Maybe you can see it better that way. Not really. It's I don't think even at like a pea size amount for my entire face, and I'm putting it on my entire face. Because this stuff, if you put on too much, it will dry out your skin dry your skin out so much that you peel and flake. Not pretty. Um, I had to adapt a little bit um, with the seasons because you know winter just hit and um, my skin has changed a little bit. It's it's drier. I did have to adapt a little bit, um, not using quite as much of this stuff as I do during during the summer with dry air and whatnot. So just stay tuned to that. Um, so if you're putting it on um, Less is more, do it a little at a time because you know you can always add more, but if you add too much, you're going to get little white flakes and it's just ugh, like a sunburn peeling, really. That's what you're going to get if you put on too much of this stuff. That's the only thing. But this is the most effective shine fighter that I found. You can just put it on in the morning, and, and when you put it on, um, this is after you've washed your face and toned and moisturized. Um, as far as if you wear like a makeup primer, I think you can wear this under or over. I don't wear a makeup primer. Um, I would probably put this on under your foundation if you wear foundation. And I, I think I think that's just about everything. Um, over moisturizer, under makeup if you wear makeup. And Let's see how much. I think that's everything. How much does how much does a bottle of this stuff cost? Maybe five dollars. It's not expensive at all. It's a lot cheaper than you know fancy mattifying lotions and whatnot. Even skip gets the stuff. And in you know if you're like me and you stop making your favorite moisturizer, you don't really need to worry as much if you've got this stuff on hand. So those are the ins and outs of Milk with Magnesia application, if you're going to use this stuff. It um, doesn't have any side effects that I've noticed. I haven't noticed it making my skin break out or anything, I haven't noticed any problems like that. As far as I know, it's safe, no worries, just do where it has a little light streaks. And I think that's, that's everything. Um,
comment below um, the quest questions. I will try to get back to you, I promise. Uh, subscribe, please. I'm going to work on getting more videos up. Your support is muchly appreciated. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope this helps you. Take care. Talk to you all later. Bye.